especially the little children. Okay? There were two friends. They were first cousin called Bookie and Rabbi. Them two came from Spring Point. And then they had one friend called Sammy. Sammy came from Banical Hill. The three of them together used to deal with Mr. Roll Yard and Mr. Roll living deep in Delectable Bay. Now, Rabbi and Bookie came up with one plan. They want thief Mr. Roll fish pot. Cause he gone and he drop his fish pot. They ain't had no boat, you know. But they figure they gonna walk the bay and they're going down by where Mr. Ferguson lived by the dock and they gonna thief the boat. Cause back then, nobody take key of boat, they leave it in there. So now, Sammy was slow. Bucky was fast. And Rabbi was in between. So now, they figure now, they gonna bring Sammy along, but they really didn't want to bring him along, so they was to only use him to get some money out of him. So they said to Sammy, Sammy, we going fishing, we going and we going to teeth Mr. Roll, boat, and we going for a fish pot. So Sammy all excited now, Sammy say, okay. But then he said, I ain't got no money. There's Robbie now, there's Bucky. But we need $50. Well, where we can get that from? Now you go to your Grammy, and you know that just what she got under the bed? We can borrow $50 till we get the fish, and then we can put that back when we don't sell the fish. So Sammy go and teach the $50 and bring it to go get gas from Miss Newmi. <laughs> so now, they tell Sammy, we can meet seven o'clock on the, on the dock. But you know, in real life, there wasn't a give Sammy you no know, no ride on that boat and he wasn't getting so fish. So they walk down the bay and they get there five o'clock in the morning, Bucky and Robbie. <laughs> Bucky and Robbie teach the boat and they're going to look for the fish pot. Now they ain't know nothing about fishing. They're going up and down and they're going to Jamaica Key, they're going to Iguana Key, they're going to Wood Key, Fish Key, and every key down in the back there, Amaran Bay and Benicalea, they almost reach Selena Point. <laughs> then they look, they see one white buoy and they're bobbing, bobbing, so they take the fish pot. Now the plan was to come back when night coming down and they're going in the graveyard, on the fish so they can share it equal. <laughs> so now they get the fish and they drag that fish pot and then they hide in the back of, of that road there by, by the rock of them until sun going down. <laughs> now they leave Sammy, Paul Sammy Figabell. Anyhow, since I ain't going on the boat and they leave me, I go in the orchard. The orchard is down in the back of D Bay that Mr. Roll own. So he's going to pick them Mangolas. And he's going to bring them back to the front and he can sell them to get $50 to give back to Grammy and hide that back under the bed. So he gone in the Mangola field in the back of the orchard. So now, when he done get two bucket load and one sack load, Sammy get tired. Sammy make it to the graveyard wall and Sammy sit down. He said, I'm gonna wait right here till the sun go down. Then I can take one bag at a time and a two bucket and I can play like they mine come from my tree. <laughs> Meanwhile now, Bucky and Robbie, them two waiting for sun go down too. So when sun go down, Bucky and Robbie go on in the graveyard. And they figure they can count. Now when they heave the, 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 the fish board over the wall, one mutton fish fall out. <laughs> but they wasn't worrying about that one then. So they say, the last count. Now poor Sammy was so tired, uh, uh, keeping all them mangolas from Mr. Roll. Mr. Roll house was right on the side of the graveyard. So Mr. Roll see when Sammy reach. Mr. Roll see when Bucky and Robbie reach. So they go on in the graveyard, sundown down night. They start counting. 
One for you, one for me. One for you, and one for me. One for you, and one for me. They count, count, count till they get 50. Then they had that one. They figured they can chop that one in two. Cause it got on an even number. So there was 51. So now, in all that counting one for one and one for two, they wake up Sammy. Now Sammy head stand up on his back. He said, oh Jesus Christ, I know they tell me spirit in this graveyard. Hear yeah, them counting now. Oh God, they gotta open up them grave. And Sammy gets scared. Sammy start trembling. What I can do? How I can get out this graveyard? I on the wall here, but I ain't going inside. So Sammy sit right here, shaking like a, a leaf. So now, they say, now let's get our one. What over the wall? Sammy shout out, Aimee, 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 And Sammy break off run. Well, Sammy run through the graveyard. Sammy, Sammy run straight to Pompey Bay. Okay? When Bucky and Robbie hear the screaming, screaming, Bucky and Robbie come, oh Jesus, oh great God. And I tell you all this graveyard got spirit in it. Grab, Sammy run, leave all the mangolas. Bucky, and Robbie leave all the fish. <laughs> so what you think happened? Mr. Roll collect all the mango and he collect all the fish. Moral of the story, you don't take things what don't belong to you. Yeah. If you shake the tree a little hard, a story might fall. But it may not be true at all. Y'all got a good night from Miss Jesse. Happy Independence. Yeah. Good luck, child. My God up here. My good luck, child. <laughs>